Lake Como, Italy places to visit. Welcome to Travel Guide's YouTube channel. The incredible artists it gave to the world are not the only specialty of Italy. It's famous for tourism thanks to its art cities, fashion, brands, operas, and breathtaking sceneries. Let me suggest some of the best places to visit in Lake Como. Don't get confused yet. Yes, Lake Como is a lake, but it's also an upscale resort area distributed along the length of this upside-down Y-shaped lake. Now let me start the list with its biggest attraction. Number 1. Lake Como Lake Como is special as it's the deepest in all of Italy. So this was once called Lario, meaning deep area. With its 410 meter depth, it's the third largest lake in popularity in Italy. The water of Lake Como is cool even on the hottest days because of the nearby mountains and cold undercurrents. So famous people and celebrities frequently come here for vacation. The lake is also safe for swimming. Swimming is at its optimum from July to August as the water reaches its warmest during this period. On Lake Como, there are a lot of beaches with facilities and open-air swimming pools. Fishing has long been a popular pastime among the locals on Lake Como. Even today, lake fishing is still allowed. You can enjoy many vintage fish dishes at neighboring eateries. When it rains, the lake sometimes overflows, but rain adds to a unique appeal to the area, making it breathtakingly beautiful. So, however the weather is like, there are several activities you may do while on Lake Como, like going to museums, dining out, shopping, or spending the day at a lavish spa. And today, let's talk about some of those too. You already know that Lake Como is vast, so this vast lake has one island called Number 2, Isolo Comachina. The tiny wooded island of Comachina can be reached only by ferry or water taxi. This is a great place to spend a few hours taking in the tranquil scenery and exploring the woodland trails. Ruins of old churches and structures can be seen all over the place demonstrating the area has been inhabited for more than a thousand years. The whitewashed church perched on a hill called the Chapel of San Giovanni Battisti was built in 1592. The still-in-use contemporary cottages on this island are the ones which were made for the artists in 1930. Keeping this magnificent lake aside, let me talk to you about some towns and villages in Lake Como that you must not miss. Number 3. Brunat This small town in the islands above Lake Como is special as you can ride the magnificent funicular railway that climbs the mountain to reach Brunei. When you get to the top, you can see Como and the lake in all their splendor. Then you can relax and breathe in the crisp mountain air on one of the many patios and restaurants. If you're feeling adventurous, you can also take a two-hour climb to Mount Boleto Summit. Number 4. Bellagio Once we're on a journey, we seek variety. That's why you must also visit Bellagio to which you have to take a boat ride. It's a beautiful town with picturesque cobbled alleys, classy shops, lovely parks, and fantastic restaurants. If you're a wine lover, then this is the place to visit. If you need some genuine wine, remember to visit Enoteca Principessa. The best way to explore this place is by hiking and walking. Still, you can also take the miniature tourist train called Bellagio Express for panoramic views of the town and the lake. Number 5. Menaggio. Menaggio is regarded as one of the most picturesque villages in the region and is the biggest area on the western shore of the lake, with many stores, cafes, pubs, and hotels. As Menaggio was a walled medieval city, remnants of earlier buildings can be seen all over the neighborhood, including the Piazza Garibaldi and Villa Milius Vigioni. It's a well-liked location for overnight stays as a base to explore other lakeside regions, but it also makes for a wonderful day trip. Number 6. Tremezzo once in a new region, we get thousands of things to be worried about. Finding lodging is one of those things. But if you know how to reach Tremezzo, you're never going to have an issue. This town is best known for being a highly regarded tourist resort with many lodging options suitable for all visitors. It offers the ideal place to visit if you want to enjoy being outside with nearby foothills and forests suited for trekking excursions. Before we move on to the next, I've got a tip for you. If you're looking for the best deals for your travel experience, check out our website, TravelGuidesBooking.com, which is a free travel booking advisor that compares millions of cheap flights, hotels, car hires, airport taxis, and trains, and also provides travel-related information, such as tours, trips, tickets, city cars, travel products, and more. Number 7. Leno Leno offers the best beaches in Lake Como, but that's not the only thing which makes it popular. That is nothing other than the famous Lido de Lino. 
Llano's a great getaway location in the early spring or late fall, since aside from the beach, it's considerably quieter there than in some other local villages. Swimmers, sunbathers, and vacationers who wish to spend their days taking advantage of the warmth and the water are some summertime visitors to this extended length of golden sand along the lakeshore. That's about all of the towns and villages I'm going to show. So it's time to see some of the real attractions. Number 8. Villa Melzi Once you go to Bellagio, you can find this lovely botanical garden called Villa Melzi. This villa was constructed in 1808 and is now a national monument in Italy. There are many things to see here, including the chapel, the villa, marble statues, and botanical specimens. Its appeal is further enhanced by the neoclassical architecture used throughout. Every feature of the gardens has a fascinating history for you to read. Number 9. Forte Montecchio Nord The Forte Montecchio Nord, the only Italian military fortress of the Great War, was constructed between 1911 and 1914. As one of the best maintained places in Europe, it still has its original weaponry. The historical complex of the fortress, which is well integrated into the so-called Cadorna Line of the Northern Frontier Defensive System, is entirely excavated in the rock. It's distinguished by massive walls made of white granite, with various environments and underground walkways. Number 10. Duomo di Como This is a perfect example of Gothic architecture. With its marble face, which is accentuated by intricate stone carvings and sculptures surrounding a rose window framed by delicately carved pinnacles, you must go inside and drown in its beauty to understand why this church is recognized as Italy's best representation of the 14th century transition from Gothic to Renaissance styles. Its most up-to-date look involves the main altar's elaborately carved rose window and the side altar's polychrome painting. Number 11. Villa Carlotta Carlotta's historic villa, located not far from Menaggio, that was constructed in the late 17th century and is renowned for its intricate garden design, stunning lake views, and one of the most exquisitely furnished mansions in the region. To enter the villa, you have to pass through a beautiful garden with various plants, flowers, and sculptures. This will make you feel like you're strolling through a medieval castle rather than a residence. The mansion also houses stunning art collections, exhibitions you may enjoy, and a museum devoted to preserving the history of the home. Once inside, remember to go to the balcony and enjoy the view of the lake against the Italian Alps. Number 12. Sacro Monte di Osuccio The sacred mountain of Osuccio is a well-known pilgrimage destination. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and part of the nine sacred mountains of northern Italy. These are mounds which are used as a site for series of themed routes and chapels dedicated to various deities during the Baroque era. This one, located above Asuccio, was constructed around a white marble statue of the Virgin Mary. While the devotional chapels along the pathway were built in the 1600s, the Sanctuary of the Blessed Virgin was created in the 1500s. The Viale della Capelle, or the Way of the Chapels, which has 14 unique Baroque shrines, is devoted to the mysteries of the Holy Rosary. Number 13. Como Archaeological Museum No traveling list is complete without a museum. Here's one that I found interesting. The Como Archaeological Museum is housed in the Palazzo Giovio and contains an amazing variety of artifacts, including pottery, jewelry, stonework, and agricultural equipment that were discovered all throughout the Como region. These artifacts and discoveries, which date as far back as the time of the ancient Greeks, offer an incredibly fascinating glimpse into Como's past and that of its inhabitants over the years. Number 14. The Orido Gorge Let's now see a natural wonder which is a waste to miss while in Lake Como. The Orido Gorge, or the Orido di Bellano, is a natural canyon carved in rock by the Pioverna River. Along the gorge you can find ponds and caves that have been sculpted by years of erosion. This starts at the Bellano Piazza. There's a staircase which will take you to the footbridges and the stairway that leads into the gorge. Along the walk you can take in tiny waterfalls and the lovely vegetation. Finally, number 15. Try all the water sports. Lake Como offers almost all the water sports you can think of. You can try, to name a few, kayaking, jet skiing, paddleboarding, fishing, wakeboarding, diving, canyoning, rowing, and many more here. There are numerous sailing clubs in the area that teach wakeboarding, water skiing, and other well-known water sports. So even if you're a beginner, you can sharpen your skills at these training facilities and get ready to jump into Lake Como's crystal clear water. The most popular sports in the area are kiteboarding, windsurfing, and sailing. So even if you haven't heard of them, you should definitely try them once you're here.